Hey y'all, Moses here. There's been some new developments and some interesting situations arising from the pro player cheating scandal I talked about a couple of days ago. We're gonna be going over some of the new information, the player statements and admissions in today's video. So without further ado, let's get started. So it's been a couple of days and there have been some additional player responses from those named in the band wave, specifically from Papaya of Player One Esports and relative known figure in the South American PUBG community. He's qualified along with Smitty, another player named in the band, for multiple tournaments ranging all the way from the beginning of competitive PUBG up until recent tournaments like Broadcast or Royale. All of the land performances that Smitty and Papaya have participated in have ranged from the pretty bad to the downright terrible. So now for Papaya and Smitty, their careers appear to be over as Papaya has issued a statement saying that he is now retiring from competitive PUBG. This comes right after having three out of his five accounts banned. And when I reached out to Papaya, he said that he had accounts that were left out of those bans. But when he showed me the evidence of those accounts, one of them had a VAC ban from a different game. So not looking too good for Papaya. And looking at the evidence, I imagine his online performance versus LAN performance is kind of telling. In other player retirement news, Sid from Red Diamonds decided to issue a retirement statement after his name appeared in the ban wave, stating that he wants to go back to work in Russia versus going to the European Pro League to be a professional gamer. At this point, the European Pro League could have up to two teams drop entirely out of the league due to this cheating scandal. And now the question remains what PUBG Corp is going to do in order to rectify this without tarnishing the beginning of their league. Hopefully that answer comes soon, but likely we won't hear until after the Christmas break. In the North American scene, things aren't quite as clear. There are two interesting cases developing, specifically surrounding the players Chris, which I believe is how you say it, and Teflon, two players that have qualified for the North American Pro League closed qualifier LAN coming up in January. In the case of Chris, his is probably the most likely to be false. He only has one banned account and has been maintaining his innocence on Twitter, stating that he'll do anything to clear his name. Now, obviously, that could all be smoke and mirrors, and maybe PUBG Corp will eventually confirm his ban or rescind it. Again, that remains to be clear. In the case of Teflon, it's the opposite. He has multiple banned accounts and has ghosted both his current and former teammates, and it appears that Teflon is as guilty as those who have already admitted. What troubles me with the Chris and Teflon situation is their two shared history, some of which you probably don't know. Both of these players participated in the PGI North American qualifier stages, but didn't make it to Berlin. Chris and Teflon both did well enough to make it to the LAN in Burbank, but both of their teams, Motivate and Gangstars, out of a 20-team lobby came 19th and 20th, respectively. That is similar evidence to what we've seen from Papaya and Smitty in South America, where their online performances just don't seem to match up to their LAN performances. Again, this is circumstantial evidence, but still feels important. So at this point, the dust has yet to settle, but we still have more information coming, as PUBG Corp prepares their statement, likely coming in the new year or perhaps right after Christmas if we're lucky. Regardless of what happens, this does feel like a bit of a fresh start for both the pro scene and the regular PUBG community as well. The radar cheat was something that kind of hung in the background, and I talked about this in the last video, that having this rectified at least gives us a little bit more security considering that cheating has such a long and prevalent history in PUBG. For now, I think we can all kind of rest easy knowing that a major cheat is off the market, and until they try and circumvent the anti-cheat, as will always happen in online games, we can enjoy the Christmas break. So I hope that you guys found this little update uh, enlightening in some way. If you did, leave a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You can subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future, and you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash WTFMoses. And as always, for more updates on this topic, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash WTF Moses. Hopefully I'll have more information for you guys the next time around, but it's Christmas. I wanted to get this video out for you guys, and I just wanted to say it's been a terrific year. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you out there.